Good morning, kind people of the internet. Today I'd like to briefly discuss the three elements that make up music and also talk a little bit about a concert that I heard last week of one of my favorite musicians of all time that happened here in Indianapolis. But before I do that, I need to go to a choir concert. That was the Indianapolis Women's Chorus that you just heard. If you're not familiar with them, I would definitely recommend checking them out. They put on a lot of shows and do a lot of great things for the community. So last week I was super lucky because I got to hear this phenomenal musician. Um, I've followed him for a while, um, playing in different groups and his own projects. His name is Lionel Loeke, and personally one of my favorite instrumentalists, um, one of my favorite improvisers and composers as well. So. I got to hear him live for the first time. Um, I've listened to a, a lot of his own projects and stuff that he's done with other people, um, but this is my first time getting to hear him live. And as expected, I was pretty blown away. Um, I got to hear two uh, sets back to back. So during the performance, I was really just trying to absorb the music as much as I could. And then afterwards, I, I started thinking, you know, why am I so drawn to this? What, what about it? really just like pulls me in and just keeps me so engaged and interested. So I started thinking about the basic fundamental things that make up music. So in no particular order, we have rhythm, harmony, and melody. So those things are pretty much present at all times in all types of music. So when I hear Lionel play, even if he's improvising a solo, I feel like he's never neglecting any of those aspects. And I feel like his playing is pretty effortless and I don't think that he's actually thinking about, you know, I gotta keep my rhythm strong, melody and harmony all the time, but it's just like a natural thing for him. And I feel like a lot of instrumentalists, especially um, improvisers, have a tendency to maybe focus on one of those things. And I know I'm that way too, especially as like a single line player where I can really only play one note on my instrument at a time. Um, I'll get stuck into just playing melodies or like melodic ideas or just like eighth note lines. Um, but I can certainly think more rhythmically and more harmonically and just trying to strengthen my sense of harmony with whatever tune that I'm playing or with whatever the band is sounding like. I know this is a pretty simple idea, but I definitely think it's one that is overlooked a lot and is something that if given a little bit of thought, it can really strengthen any type of music that you're playing. Um, just trying to think about, you know, do I have a strong rhythm happening here or can my harmony be enhanced? Or um, what am I doing with the melody? Is, is the melody predictable? Um, can I make it more engaging or more interesting for the listener? Um, just little things like that. So I took a little bootleg of part of the concert that I heard last week, and I'm gonna play part of that here, but I would definitely recommend checking out um, Lionel's discography and just his own projects and who else he's played with, um, just to maybe get a grasp of what I'm talking about. So thanks for watching.